Bonjour à toutes et à tous. Hello, everybody. Welcome to TV Festival. This is the 13th film being screened in competition, and it's called Tori and Likita, and it's directed by the Darden brothers. They're back. They've already got two uh, Palme d'Or under their belt. It's always an event when they come to Cannes, therefore. We remember when they won their Golden Palm in 2005 for the child, and 1999 for Rosetta. They've just strolled up to uh, the festival hall. They're having their photo taken by the uh, festival goers. They've come with two of their actors. This is a brand new experience for those new young actors. We'll try and meet them in a short while. There's a little boy who you'll be able to see on the screen soon. Isabel's, uh, it's called uh, Pablo Schills. And he is with Joely Mbundu, who plays the role of the big sister. So we have young Pablo Schills on the red carpet in Cannes. This is his first Cannes Film Festival. Avec les grands cinéastes belges. With the great Belgian filmmakers Jean-Pierre Jean and Luc Darden. Joélie Mbundu, également. Joélie Mbundu is here also in Cannes, and this is a first for her too. Alors qu'on va euh, essayer de de parler. Perhaps we can have a word with those two great filmmakers. Bonjour à vous. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Peut-être mieux tout à l'heure, on verra. Perhaps we'll feel better after the screening. You often say that you're Belgian, but you're also from Cannes. Yeah, we live in two countries. One country is Belgium, the other country is Cannes. This is a festival which has really showcased your work to the entire world. So we have shifted from Belgian social reality to European social reality to international social reality. Is that important for the cinema? Well, that's what film is all about. A film is to be shared with as broad an audience as possible, no matter what its uh, nationality or beliefs. A film should be able to speak to all audiences. You follow the evolution of the world in all of your films. We can see how the world has evolved. We can identify what we are becoming. How do you manage to be so close to reality? Well, we just leave, we just live normal lives. It's just because we're filmmakers doesn't mean we have different lives. We read the newspapers, we keep a finger on the pulse, we listen to people, and we just are aware of what's going on around us and we think how can a news item be turned into a fable. We note these things down, we talk about these ideas and then sooner or later one idea from a newspaper article for example, so something taken from reality is the basis for constructing a fable. In this film we're talking about exiled people and you really are putting the spotlight on the very tough life they lead. Why? Well, these protagonists are children. They've come all the way on their own from Africa because they're hoping for a better life in Europe. And we explain how their friendship, because it's a film about friendship, we explain how their friendship, their lively spirits, their intelligence enables them to cope with everything they're faced with over an hour and a half. You're saying that the conditions are cruel, that's true, there is hostility, but we all know that, we don't need a film to tell us that. But as Jean-Pierre has said, what we demonstrating is how friendship resists all of that and withstands it. And it's great for any uh, film goers who might have some prejudiced views. I think they'll, they'll lose those prejudices on watching the film. You've uh, worked with huge stars such as Marion Cotillard. Is it important to you that you bring new actors to light? Well, yes, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to see them hatch in front of the camera of the very 
first time. And then bringing them here, well, it's a magnificent adventure. I know you do a lot of work before you actually shoot. There's a lot of rehearsal involved. Do you rehearse more with such inexperienced talents, or is it exactly the same as with um, an experienced star? Well, we work for the same number of weeks. The work itself is a little bit different. Well, to simplify things, I'd say that with a, 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 with a professional actor, we try to see how some techniques can be wiped away, how a professional can not make it obvious that he's using these professional tricks. Whereas someone hasn't got any experience, they have to just uh, wipe or erase their personal gestures, for example. So we start by running, sitting down, fighting sometimes, and that's how they eventually find the body. Body, the natural body, no technical stunts. We just want the body to be present. That's what an actor, professional or not, must be present. And then we have the rehearsals. That's, that's what that work's all about. Then after three or four weeks, then we feel that their bodies are with us and we can start shooting. Well, thank you very much. Enjoy your afternoon. The Darden brothers. Ici, pour ce 13e film with us here for the 13th film, film being screened in competition at the 75th de Cannes Film uh, Festival. We'll try and have a word with the youngsters if we possibly can. Pablo Schills and Jolie Mbundu. Ils sont là. Bonjour, Pablo. Hello, Pablo. Comment vas -tu? How are you? Oh, Alors, fine. Comment, que tu as dans ta tête quand on so what is going on inside your head being here on the red carpet? How do you feel? I'm very happy. And it's quite a unique experience. I can't wait to go up those steps. So what was it like working with these big filmmakers? Well, it didn't seem to be like work. It was more like playing. I had such fun. Franchement, ils sont adaptés par and, rapport à I think they adapted to my age, so it was really great. Are you going to continue acting? Yeah, why not? Thank you very much, Pablo. Enjoy this day. Thank you, Pablo. Donc c'était un jeu. So it was like fun and games, really, for Pablo. We'll try and have a word with Joely as well. Bonjour, Joely. Hello, Joely. How are you? Oh, I'm feeling great. I can't wait to see the film. This is your first time in Cannes. How do you feel? Given that the two great filmmakers have revealed huge new talents. So what do you feel about that? Well, I think it's great that famous actresses have worked with them in the past. And being here in Cannes is a dream come true because I've been dreaming of this for three years. So three years ago, if someone had said to me that I would be on the red carpet with the Darden brothers, I would never have believed it. I'm really proud to say that I work with them. And it is wonderful to be here. Well, you deserve it. Your work in the film is uh, fantastic. And I know you rehearsed a lot. Yet yeah, we rehearsed for hours. We really did focus on the scenes until we got the right pace, the right uh, emotions. And uh, it was great when the, the set was closed off just for us. You play the role of a girl in exile, a young teenager. I imagine it's quite reassuring so that you can understand the character. Oh, yes, indeed. This is a very strong role. There's a lot of emotion involved because this is a drama, this story that she lives. And to play the role of Lokita, it wasn't um, natural for me. I, I'm a smiley person. I'm not a sad person. And so working, rehearsing, it helped me to step into Lokita's uh, shoes. And I've kept a little bit of her with me. It's a sad story, but she's a very strong person. Thank you very much, Jolie. Enjoy this red carpet. Savor every instant. And I'm sure this isn't the last time we see you. I hope that's the case. Joely. That was Joely Mbundu. Sublime. Dans le film des frères Delightful actress from the Darden Brothers film. Révélée.
The Darden brothers have uh, talent spotted actresses such as Emily Duquesne in the past, Deborah Francois, Jeremy Renier. Jeremy Renier. Deux palmes d'or. They have two golden palms. Alors je vais vous refaire euh, un petit peu le, le palmarès. Let me tell you who palmes, else has two palms. Il y a eu d'autres récompenses. Let's see what 2008, other prizes they've got. In 2008, they got a prize for Lorna Silence. Then the, the kid with the bike, they got a prize as well. 2019, they got Young Ahmed. They got a prize for that as well. That was the last time they were here in the competition. Et vous l'avez vu, hein, ils ont dit qu'ils étaient autant belges and uh, both Jean-Pierre and Luc said they felt that they had dual nationality, one nationality being Belgian, the other nationality being from Cannes. So the last time they were here was uh, 2019 with the young Ahmed. Cette fois-ci, les deux frères plongent dans l'histoire. This time, the two brothers are delving into the story of two uh, exiled children who have a strong link that has developed, and they are in Belgium. Une histoire dure. It's a hard story, very poignant story. Qui décrit une réalité sociale. And it describes uh, society as it is today. Sont emprunt du réel. The two filmmakers have their feet firmly on the ground. Et c'est vrai que tous les films des frères Darden, all of their films, in fact, depuis plus de 20 ans, have uh, been socially aware, and they've been participating in the com in the competition here for the past 20 years. And it's thanks to Cannes that these Belgian directors have become well known throughout Europe. Considérablement influencé leur, euh, and that has leur carrière. influenced their careers. Un cinéma fort, un cinéma social, their un films cinéma are strong, anchored in reality. Et il est vrai qu'une fois de plus, euh, les cinéastes and once again, these Belgian filmmakers are taking a closer look at the living conditions of people in exile. Alors que Alban nous rejoint. Alban Bonsoir, is here. Alban. Good evening, Alban. Bonjour, s'il vous plaît. How are you? Uh, C'est possible d'en rencontrer en anglais? Yes, Can we speak course. in English? It's not your first time with the, the Darden Brother. How are they? How are on they? The, yes, on the sets. Uh, on the set, they are uh, like uh, teachers. They are like good friends and they are great directors. They are one of the biggest intellectuals ever met in my life. And uh, I got like a new school of acting, working with them, with Lorna Silence and now with Tore Lokita. And there is a lot of real soul. Does it help as an actor to get involved your part, to be better? Every time they are very demanding. And uh, there is one thing that I was thinking this morning, when you work with Darden Brothers, it's not important like your close up, what you did, but the whole story is important, and the, impo the most important thing is to tell the story, and you are the part of that story. Be as truthful as you can. That's what I learned from the Darden brothers. And they always want to talk about the world, to talk about our society, and to show things. Is it important for you as an actor that heart aiming at dealing with the reality, even if it's really cruel? I think our responsibility as an artist is to be loud, to talk about the social things, the social issues, and to talk about the political issues that are happening the last couple of years globally. And uh, uh, I was lucky to work with such people that are so powerful to raise their voice against, uh, to talk about minorities and to talk about the people who are in margin in a way. And for you as an actor being here again, is it always something special? It is a special feeling after 13 years. I wasn't very aware at that time with the Lorna silence. And now um, after the COVID and everything, for the first time after two years, I can breathe today. 
and I feel free and uh, I would like to come back again. So it's less stress today than before that it was before? Yeah, it started with stress, but now I'm very relaxed. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. And have a wonderful day Thanks here. Thanks a lot. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thank you. Bonsoir, bonjour. Good evening, you know, good afternoon. Yes, it's, hard. it's not yet evening time. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So, once again, you're working with these fabulous filmmakers. What have you got to say about that? Well, I'm really delighted to have been able to do this uh, job, to be able to participate in this uh, project. The directors are very demanding. Des qualités d'acteurs and they bring out all kinds of qualities in their actors and it is amazing to work with them. They really do have their feet firmly on the ground, the Darden brothers. The meaning of truth is so important to them. So how do you manage to incarnate such truth? Just by following their instructions. En se laissant euh, baigner par cette euh, and par just ce sens de being lecture, de la mise en scène, la, in their la plus, director's possible, work, donc, to be very euh, concentrated and focused, et, uh, no unnecessary frills et, or anything. We're just getting right down to the nitty gritty. A lot of rehearsal. I think they give a lot of instructions. Yes. Pour, pour, en définitive, offrir and at the end of the day, they uh, produce something which is exceedingly natural, but it is the fruit of something which is very formal and formalized. I bet it's great as an actor to work with the Dardens and to be in a James Bond film. Well, here, yeah, one extreme to the other. And that's uh, the best thing that I can dream of in, in my life as an actor. What have you got in store for the future? Well, I'm just come back from the Congo, where I worked for Balogi, a Belgian director director who's made his first uh, feature film. He's taking us on a magical journey for people who meet. And it was a wonderful experience. And it was great to go back to my homeland. Well, can't wait to see it. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day, lovely time on the red carpet. C'était Marc Zinga au casting. That was Marc Zinga, who is in the de Jean -Pierre et Luc Dardenne. latest film directed by Jean-Pierre and Luc Dardenne. Tori et Lokita, alors que Brigitte Fosset. Tori et Lokita, that's the name of the film. Oh, Brigitte Fosset is on the red carpet. Co the she's come to film. see the ninth Darden, film by the Darden brothers that is uh, being screened in Ici, Cannes. Cannes. Une édition, uh, anniversaire. This is an anniversary edition of the festival, the 75th Cannes Film Darden, Festival. The Darden brothers France, already have two golden palms, one for The Child in 2005 and the second in 1999 for Rosetta. A third golden palm would be a world record. The cinéast dirige cette fois-ci for this film for Tori and Lakita. Darden, the Darden brothers are working with less well-known actors. They're used to working with big names, of course. And they have brought to life, brought to light rather, many uh, an actress and an actor. Alors que l'équipe officielle se met en place sur le tapis rouge. So the team from the film Tori and Lakita 
the 13th red carpet official, for a film in competition at the 75, 75th Cannes Film Festival. They're getting ready for their red carpet moment. Tori et Lokita. And the film is called Tori and Lokita, directed by Jean-Pierre and Luc Dardenne. You'll be able to see the film on the 28th of September. That's its release date here in France. There we have uh, Charlotte de Bruyne. One of the Dardenne brothers. We had Charlotte de Bruyne also on the photo. Alban Hucage. Alban Hucage. Who learned a lot at working with the uh, Dardenne brothers on set. Joeli Mundu, Joeli Mundu, and the young Pablo Schills. Who had great fun shooting the film. Who had great fun shooting the film. And the young man desired to continue to play the role. Pablo would very much like to continue acting. Neuvième film présenté. This is the ninth film to be screened in competition for the Dardenne brothers. They've got two golden palms under their belt. Rosetta, 1999, and The Child in 2005. They got a screenplay. Prize for Lorna Silence, the Grand Prix in 2011 for the Kid with the Bike, and Best Director film in uh, prize in 2019 for Young Ahmed. That was the last time that the Darden brothers were on the red carpet in Cannes. Now, this film, Tori and Lokita, could earn them a third golden palm, which would be a record in the long history of the Cannes Film Festival. The film is being released in France on the 28th of September. Alors que Thierry Frémaux et Pierre Lescure, Thierry Frémaux, Pierre Lescure are there to welcome Jean-Pierre and Luc Dardenne, Joëlie Mumbu, Pablo Jody Mbundu, Pablo Schills, Alban Ukaj, Nadej Wedraogo, Tijmen Govers, Tijmen Govets, Charlotte de Bruyne, Mark and Mark Zinger. Who was saying how wonderful it is for an actor to play varied roles for the Darden brothers and then in a James Bond film. He was in the film Spectre. The frères Darden, who se sentent vraiment comme the Darden brothers, are very much at home here in Cannes. And they say very generously that Cannes gave them so much. And they say that Cannes gave them so much. It's thanks to the festival that their films have traveled well beyond Europe. And the festival has really influenced their careers. And the festival really has influenced their careers. The last photo of family before they enter the final family snapshot before they go into the Lumiere movie theater where their film is to be screened. This is the official. Another film in the official competition here at the 75th Cannes Film Festival. Their cinema is a cinema strong, social. Their films are anchored in reality, strong social content, very strong films, and they export very well. Grand 
grand moment d'émotion. C'est un très émouvant temps pour les jeunes acteurs. Bonjour, Jean-Pierre et Luc Darden. Accueillis par les festivaliers. Crew from the film being welcomed by the festival goers. Et Thierry Frémo. Thierry Frémo is there, of course. Neuvième film présenté. This is the en compétition ninth film to be screened in competition for by the ninth, ninth uh, film by the this. Uh, pair of directors Tori to be screened. It's called Marc Tori and Lukita. It's the 13th film, film in this year's competition at the 75th Cannes Film Festival. But it's their ninth in competition. Beaucoup d'applaudissements. A lot of applause. Ces grands cinéastes. For two great filmmakers. Doublement palmé. Double palms. Pour l'enfant. En 2005, for the child in 2005 and for Rosetta in 1999. Peut-être une troisième palme. Who knows, perhaps we're about to see a film which will go on to win a third golden palm. That would be uh, historical. It would be record-breaking and it would be completely new for the Cannes Film Festival. Les téléphones. Non. 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 Non.